In the early 60s, Sir Norbert joined the campaign for nuclear disarmament. So when, after 20 years of hunger marches and after-dinner speeches, he was asked to star in a film about the British peace movement, he readily agreed, despite some reservations about the script. What are you doing here? Blimey. And I thought all the bombshells were inside the camp. Oh, cheeky. Now, listen. We want you to put them down, and if you don't, we will. <laughs> no, silly. Those unsightly erections of yours. They're a danger to us all. I should flip in Coco. Go and stick them up all over the place. If you don't withdraw them quickly, well, you're going to get us all into trouble. Oh, chance would be a fine thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've asked me. Come on, girls, jump! One step further and you're liable to a heavy fine. <coughs> now, girls, girls, girls! Good man. Yes. Now, ladies, please, what on earth is going on here? That man there, he threatened to give me a big stiff one. Sergeant! Uh, uh, fine, sir. No, it certainly is not fine. No! Oh, now, come along, girls, please. Let's look at this thing rationally, shall we? Let us all have a little discussion where you can all put over your points of view. Yes, let's have a mass debate. Oh. Sergeant! Ah. Uh, I only meant we should get it out and thrash it out in the open, sir. That's what I thought you meant. Now, look here, ladies, please. These missiles here are completely safe. I have absolutely no intention of dropping one. <gasps> oh, I should hope not. Come on, girls, charge! Don't, don't disagree with them, woman. Now, after an absence of nearly 40 years, Hollywood was to call him again. And like many other distinguished British theatrical knights, he was to appear in over half a dozen films as a foul-mouthed, upper-crust butler. Ah, oh, Travis, uh, would you bring me some more soap? Uh, shut up, you bitch, and get your laughing gear round this. Passionate personal conviction, as with Carry On Banging, has led to what is to date his final film, a biography of the great African leader, Nelson Mandela, in which he cast himself in the title role. When will the people of South Africa be free? I said to Botha, what? I said to Verwort, 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 say. Verwort, when the state give up their arms, then we will give up ours. Very good seeing that. Sure, it's tremendously difficult to play an no? authentic black African. The amount of research I had to do, I must have seen Olivier's Othello five or six times before I got it right. Puffy, love. More puffy. Sir Norbert, a lot of people were upset that you chose to play Nelson Mandela. Well, there's really no other choice. Why was that? Well, Sir Alec Guinness simply wasn't available. Sorry, I'd never smoked a pipe before. Finally, how would people sum up Sir Norbert? A very, very jolly man. And an Irishman, and a Scotsman, and a Jew. <laughs> so, Lady Norbert, you've been married now for 35 years. Have you had many disagreements in all that time? Well, of course. He's always very much believed that a woman's place is in the home. And where do you think, as an actor, Sir Norbert's place is? His place is in a home. What on earth do you think you're doing? I'm helping you, my love. Well, you're not any help. I'm trying to wash up. Well, I'm trying to help you wash up. Well, I didn't think you were helping me very much. Well, I'm trying. If I wasn't helping you, I'd be in the living room, wouldn't I? So, Sir Norbert, finally, what are your own plans? Will we see you act again? 
Well, apparently this is a television company making a documentary about my life, and they've asked me to play myself. But, you know, I don't think it's really me. Oh! <laughs> 